And Mark, you have so many great ideas. I think people are really looking to your leadership right now. And you've been asked multiple times about a Mark Cuban presidential run. You have not ruled that out. So where are you today on that? I mean, it's unlikely, but these times are so crazy. You just, you just never know. Right. And so it's just the entrepreneur in me. It never says never, you know, so the door is always open. Something crazy can happen. Um, not likely, but you know, for all the reasons for what we've discussed, I'm not going to take shots at anybody. Everybody's trying their hardest, but you know, people aren't opposed to alternatives and, you know, just hopefully we don't get back to business as usual in politics. We're so partisan, you know, because that partisanship is killing us. I'm appreciative that you're not trying to put blame on anybody and you're just trying to solve problems. So if you were the president, what are the three biggest changes you would make right away and why? Oh my goodness. Well, we talked about the taxing thing. Um, you know, number one, when it came to appointments, I would mix it up so there'd be equal parts, Democrats, independents, and Republicans. It, there'd be no one party dominant. I do the same thing on the Supreme Court. If there was a Republican appointed last, the next one would be a Democrat. And the next one would be an independent because I want balance because I want it to be about the rule of law, not what somebody's dog dogmatic beliefs are. Um, I'd probably go out there and really emphasize small business and working with small business and people on the ground. And so, you know, you see a lot of the programs right now, there's some small business programs, but most of the money's going to big business because that's where the employees are, but it's not getting to the employees. And so I'd probably increase two, well, let me simplify that two things. One, I'd raise the national minimum wage to $15. And two, I'd want to make sure that employers didn't have employees on their payroll as full-time employees on their payroll that were also getting government assistance. Right. Because to me, that's that's the worst part of socialism. If I have a company and I've checked at, at the companies that I run to see, do I have anybody getting government assistance? Because that's embarrassing to me. Right. Mm -hmm. That I'm not paying them enough or I don't understand their circumstances enough. And so taxing companies whose employees aren't being paid enough so that it's, it balances out because there's no reason for taxpayers to subsidize any company because they're not paying enough and that individual is having to get government assistance. So those are off the top of my head. Yeah, and that's a great idea. And I think it goes to that compassionate capitalism that we were talking about earlier.